Now I want to talk about when people say a wine is corked or off. Does, what does that mean? So corkage, uh, so the most common mistake that's made over cork is if, you, if a little piece of cork breaks off and it falls into the bottle or into the glass, then there's the assumption that that means that the wine is corked. No. Well, some people think that. Yeah, well, it's <laughs> fair enough, you know, if you don't know what it's about. So, corkage refers to a bacteria or a, 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 yeah, a bacteria that we refer to as TCA, trichloroanisole, which is a very real thing and it lives in, in cork trees. It was actually initially first discovered in chickens, which is very, very oh. interesting. But it's a, yeah, it's, a, it's a common bacteria. It doesn't do anything bad to the wine or to you, but it strips it sort of, of, it, of its freshness and it will make the wine sort of smell cardboardy or damp. Okay. Um, so if you get the, the danger there really is you can order a very good bottle of wine in a restaurant and you're being served it and if you don't identify that there's this problem with the wine you would just think that it's a bad wine. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's handy for people to identify the flavors and it's really the, the, the best way to identify this is by smelling it and it smells of wet cardboard or you know, it, it might smell fresh if okay. the wine is, is spoiled with TCA. And that's, that's corkage. And the other common problem with wine is if it's oxidized, and that would be because it's been open for too long, mm -hmm. or it actually took in air while it was standing somewhere. Okay. In South Africa, commonly, we put our red wines next to the oven, standing upright, or so somewhere on a, on, a, on a bar top. And, you know, service temperature is as important with reds as it is with whites, and, and, and also the storage. So you can actually cook a wine, uh. not boiling it at 100 degrees Celsius, but anything above 25 to 30 degrees. If you expose any wine to that sort of ex extreme temperature for more than five or six hours, you would cook the fruits out of the wine and the freshness out of it and it becomes flabby and sort of stewed. What does it taste like when it's corked? So the, the, the taste is similar to the nose and that would be that, that dampy um, cork, like a wet cork okay. uh, flavor. It won't have any fresh fruit. So if you have a wine that's still very fruity, but you just don't like the taste, don't say it's corked because that's <laughs> not fair. Okay. Um, if it has a lot of fruits and aromatics, then it won't be corked because cork is almost like it caps the, okay. the aromatics of the, of the wine. Okay. Um, and you can look at the cork when a, when a wine is corked and the, the cork would be healthy 100%. The, it doesn't mean there's anything wrong with the cork. It's a microbiological thing. There's a bacteria that's in it. So. Um, and the, yeah, the taste would also then not be fresh. And an oxidized wine, on the other hand, would taste a little bit like sherry or a bit poor tea. And an oxidized wine can be capped, it doesn't have to have a cork on it. Yeah, yeah exactly. So oxidation happens in, in any sort of closure. You can oxidize a wine before you even put it in the bottle at a winery. If the winemaker wasn't careful with his hygiene in a cellar or with keeping the tanks full and so forth, you can oxidize the product before you even bottle it, so you can have an oxidized wine going into the bottle. And corkage, another interesting thing to, to bear in mind about it, doesn't happen because of bad storage. The, the bacteria would go into the wine within a very short period of time after bottling. So wine isn't corked because it's 10 years old. If, it's, if it tastes bad because it's too old, then the wine is just too old. We call it mature or, you know, then there's no more freshness in it. But that's got nothing to do with the cork.